Hello fellow freedom fighters and liberty lovers. This is Jason W. Chan. Welcome to another episode of Jason W. Chan's Take as part of the Freedom Fighter podcast. Today's episode is an incredible story of survival. Fisherman survives four days at sea off Satun. So this is in Thailand. A fisherman miraculously survived after floating in the sea off Satun in southern Thailand for four days. Wow. Despite exhausting his strength, he managed to stay alive by drinking from a floating bottle of sugar cane juice. His incredible ordeal concluded when waves carried him to Bulan Mai Pai Island. Wow. News emerged yesterday of the incredible survival and I won't pronounce the name because I might butcher it, a fisherman who fell overboard from the fishing vessel El Chai Navy. The incident occurred approximately 10 nautical miles off the coast of Satun province, despite the owner of the vessel alerting various search and rescue units. Santon remained missing. The 3rd Naval Area Command was informed by officials. All right. Let's see. Let's hear about his ordeal next. Suntorn described his ordeal, explaining that after falling into the water, he saw the boat sailing away. He tried to swim towards it and called out to his friends, but no one heard him. He decided to float to conserve energy amidst the strong waves and wind. That's probably smart. Very wise. As time passed, his exhaustion grew. To lighten his load and make floating easier, he removed all his clothes. Oh, another smart thing to do. <clears throat> By Tuesday evening, he felt increasingly despondent and hopeless. Wow. And yet the will to survive trumped everything else. He thought of the sacred image of, and I believe this is the um, picture of the Buddha or the, uh, the temple, right? That he always wore around his neck. He prayed for survival, promising to become a monk for seven days if he made it through. Life-saving sugar cane. By Wednesday morning, Satun's strength was nearly depleted. The scorching sun intensified his thirst. In what he described as a miracle, a bottle of sugar cane juice floated by. I love sugar cane juice. This only costs like a dollar in Thailand. He grabbed it and drank to quench his thirst and stave off hunger, which helped him survive another day. By the evening, another miracle occurred as a wind and waves carried him towards the island in Satun province. Wow. It is a miracle. His family expressed immense gratitude and astonishment at his safe return, likening his survival to a miracle after floating in the sea for four days amid strong waves and wind. Wow. See, this, I mean, there's so much to unpack here to talk about. Number one, God or the universe or whatever higher power you believe in definitely wanted, wanted him to survive. They wanted him alive, to live. And that the sort of mental fortitude he must possess, I mean, others who are not as strong might have given up much sooner, like after a day or two, right? And then I don't think that this sugarcane juice was an accident. I don't believe in accidents in life. I'm very fatalistic that way. I believe that everything we have that we possess that is surrounding us, our circumstances, they're the result of something that we willed into existence or being awarded for or being given to strengthen us, the ordeals, the obstacles, they all make us stronger. And I'm certain that this harrowing journey, this ordeal, made him a very strong man. If he could survive four days lost at sea, then he can survive pretty much anything, right? What do you guys think? Has something similar happened to you? Any near-death experiences? Leave your comments below. This has been Jason W. Chan's Take as part of the Freedom Fighter podcast. As usual, keep fighting for your freedoms and chasing your dreams.